I'm Karen Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A scorpion stung a passenger on an Alaskan Airlines flight to Portland, Oregon, delaying a flight that originated in Mexico. Flight 567, which originated in Los Cabos, Mexico, was taxiing for takeoff last weekend at LAX when the woman was stung. The plane returned to the gate, where medics treated the woman. She did not get back on the plane, while the other passengers stayed on board. Samuel L. Jackson has already been signed on for the big-budget film version. During a recent live news broadcast in Argentina, a rapidly moving disc-shaped object appeared to move across the sky behind the studio where the anchors sit. It happened on the Todo Noticias cable news channel based in Buenos Aires, Argentina. And NBC's Brian Williams was on the scene reporting live from the UFO. Spain's airport authority says a wild boar that broke through a perimeter fence at Madrid's International Airport caused runways to be shut briefly and two landings to be delayed. Which is odd, as nobody knew Kanye West was traveling through Spain at the time. Seriously, he is one boar. The next Oreo flavor will be cotton candy. Because how many times have you been eating an Oreo when you thought, this would be so much better if it only had more sugar. A 151-year-old state law that reportedly drew its inspiration from the legendary duel between former Vice President Aaron Burr and former Treasury Secretary Alexander Hamilton might soon be taken off the books. The House Judiciary, Rules and Administration Committee voted to consider ridding Idaho of the rule on jurisdiction for out-of-state duels. The law was passed during Idaho's very first territorial legislature in 1864. Currently, the law states that Idaho has jurisdiction if a person dies in the gem state after getting injured in a duel out of state. Republican Rep. Thomas Daley joked that some lawmakers may want to take advantage of the statute before its repeal would take effect in July. Well, then, after July, what happens if I'm in a duel outside of Idaho? but I die within the state lines. That's a scary thought. I mean, what happens to me? Kathleen Hampton, who says she received poor service at an Italian restaurant in Portland, Oregon on Valentine's Day, has filed a lawsuit against the restaurant for $100,000. Hampton says she and her husband made reservations at Enzo's Cafe Italiano on Valentine's Day, but at the last minute, her husband decided not to join her because, she writes in the suit, he was still full from lunch. So she decided to dine by herself. She says she sat alone at the table for two amid a busy Valentine's Day crowd, but that no one would take her order. Instead, she says she was asked to give up the table. Hampton says she was crushed. Cat, sweetie, your hubby wouldn't go with you because he was still full from lunch? You've got bigger problems than what happened at Enzo's. A new line of IKEA furniture will come with built-in wireless phone chargers. According to Relevant Magazine, IKEA has announced a new line of furniture that will allow you to charge your phone without plugging it in thanks to a partnership with the Wireless Power Consortium. The new home smart line of accessories, including items like bedside tables, coffee tables, and lamps, will come equipped with wireless charging stations that will let you quickly charge QI-compatible tablets and phones. And it'll also warm the cockles of your heart if you have a pacemaker. That's your Daily Dose of Weird News. I'm Darren Marlar. Get more weird news anytime, anywhere at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Download the free app for Apple or Android, subscribe to my YouTube channel, visit me on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And be sure to sign up for my newsletter, The Marlar Sheet, to be notified of new videos. Stay up to date on my upcoming TV and film projects, stand-up comedy, and more. You can find it all at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to also click that little gear icon next to the subscribe button and select Send Me Updates so you'll be notified when I post new videos.